Whenever we mention rockets, we often imagine giant, expensive, and potentially risky vehicles. Like all rockets, SpaceX Starship also has three elements. In particular, the cost is a factor that many people are curious about because Starship went through a long period of development. Surprisingly, Elon Musk revealed an insane cost for Starship that is beyond many people's thoughts. So, in today's episode of Alpha Tech, let's find out how crazy the Starship's cost that Elon Musk revealed and why this shocked the entire aerospace industry. Starship is a rocket developed by SpaceX to realize the plan to colonize Mars. Just hearing the plan's name, we also understand that this is going to be extremely expensive. SpaceX is a private company, so it certainly will not have annual funding like government agencies such as NASA. So to maintain its existence and complete its mission, SpaceX has to have good cost management strategies. One of the methods they're applying is cost optimization. In fact, they've been doing this for many years on Falcon rockets by reusing rocket parts like boosters and fairings. But they'll have to do this even more thoroughly with Starship. According to Elon Musk, in the future, Starship's launch cost will be less than $10 million. He even confidently says the cost could be reduced to $2 million. Crazy, right? To understand this, you can look at another rocket, NASA's SLS. After many years of development with a single flight, NASA has spent many, many billions of dollars, of which only the launch cost is up to $4 billion, nearly equal to the cost of the entire Starship system. If compared to other SpaceX rockets, the Starship's cost target is really impressive. Falcon 9 currently costs $67 million per launch, and Falcon Heavy costs about $97 million. Although cheaper, Starship's capabilities are much better than the Falcon rocket. Currently, Falcon 9 can send 23 tons on LEO, while Falcon Heavy carries 64 tons. But Starship can send 100 to 120 tons of payload to orbit. Even in a recent presentation at Starbase, Elon Musk also revealed Starship V3 with a payload of up to 200 tons, eight times more than Falcon 9, and three times more compared to Falcon Heavy. With that capability, there will be many people who are skeptical about the true price of Starship. Indeed. Starship is in the developmental stage, so the current price certainly has not reached the aforementioned goals. According to the calculation of payload, a company specializing in research operations of aerospace organizations, currently each Starship's cost seems to be approximately the same as Falcon Heavy, at more than $90 million, in which the engine is still considered the factor that accounts for most costs. However, they still appreciate the Starship project for its potential to cut costs in the future. This is understandable because the engine is the most complex system on the rocket, but it is also the considered the factor that will determine the success of the flight. Therefore, SpaceX will spend a lot of time and money on this system. Not only production, maintenance, and labor costs are also quite expensive, causing the cost of the Starship to increase quite a lot. Besides Starship, SpaceX also invests in other programs like production systems, fuel systems, and launch structures. Also, in payload calculations, SpaceX had to spend $10 billion for its entire Starship project, $5 billion of which was used in late 2023. With this reality, the question right now is whether Starship's cost set by Elon Musk is feasible or not. He obviously has a basis for constantly declaring so. Since starting to develop Starship, we've seen SpaceX take the first step to cut costs by using new materials, stainless steel, and a new fuel, methane. Stainless steel is not only lighter and more durable than the carbon fiber material that SpaceX uses on Falcon rockets, but its price is also extremely cheap, only about $3 per kilogram, while carbon fiber costs up to $200 per kilogram. Meanwhile, methane is an abundant fuel source, much easier to produce than other fuels like kerosene, so costs will be greatly reduced. In addition, methane's performance is also high and suitable for SpaceX's Mars colonization plan. Another advantage of Starship compared to SpaceX rockets in particular and rockets around the world in general is the ability to reuse all stages. This is shown when they've developed a system that's different from all the systems in the past, Mechazilla Arm. Not only serving the stack and launch, the launch tower with Mechazilla Arm will catch Starship and Super Heavy when they land for reuse. In the first flights, we probably won't witness this task because SpaceX's current goal will be to help Starship reach orbit. However, that'll happen soon once SpaceX completes the orbit goal, and I believe SpaceX is very serious with its plans. After the IFT-2 flight, SpaceX is gradually moving away from many of the launch tower segments at Starbase to build a second launch tower, 
And I also believe that after this launch tower, many other launch towers will start appearing. It's a sign that SpaceX will strongly promote the reuse strategy with Starship. And this is the key to cutting lots of costs, helping Elon and SpaceX reduce the total cost of Starship to an insane level. And as I mentioned, the engine, one of the parts that caused Starship's cost to go quite high compared to Elon's goal will be the factor that's focused on. Right now, we see SpaceX applying two genius solutions to cut engine costs. The first step is to simplify the engine. We can realize this through Raptor engine versions. Not only increase in power, but the engine design was simpler and neater. Thanks to that, the engine weight is significantly reduced. Reliability increases, and most importantly, SpaceX greatly cuts production costs to only about a million dollars per engine. For comparison, each RS-25 engine used for the SLS rocket costs up to $100 million, or Blue Origin's BE-4 costs $7 million. Quite cheap, but the production speed is too slow. Well, the increase in production speed is the second factor that helps SpaceX reduce costs. Thanks to a simpler design, SpaceX is now able to produce one Raptor engine a day, much faster than its beginning period, and certainly superior to all the other engines in the world. SpaceX is also gradually putting rocket engine production into mass production, something not many organizations can do. With this system, the cost will be much lower, only about $100,000 to $200,000 for an engine. At that cost, 39 engines in each flight will only cost about $8 million. Combined with other parts, the goal of launching less than $10 million is completely feasible. Don't forget that along with a rocket, the engines are also a reusable part, up to 100 times. This helps SpaceX save lots of costs on producing new engines. If engines from the previous flight can be refurbished and reused, the total cost will continue to be reduced many times. At that time, the cost of $2 million can truly come true. Besides improvements in hardware and reusability, SpaceX can also reduce launch costs by increasing launch frequency. This has been mentioned many times by Elon Musk and SpaceX. For example, last October, Elon Musk set a goal of launching thousands of Starships each year. In a tweet he posted on December 29th, he also expected to launch Starship every day and super heavy every hour. SpaceX has even long planned to launch Starship Earth to Earth. It'll help Starship create a breakthrough and become the first rocket that can operate like a commercial aviation vehicle. Starship will become a popular means of transportation for most people, and that's why the cost certainly goes down even more. There will still be many challenges for SpaceX and Starship on the path toward Elon's goal, but somehow, I believe Starship will still be the future of SpaceX, the aerospace industry, as well as humanity. What is the future? That'll be powerful thrust to blow away all previous limits, helping humanity reach unprecedented feats in history. That will be reusable landing, which everyone often thinks only happens in the movies. After all, that future will be the crazy cost this rocket could reach. It'll not only represent the genius cost optimization of Elon and SpaceX, it'll be the key to opening up an extremely promising future where everyone will have a chance to sit on the world's largest rocket to hit great milestones. And that's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.